uh, well, we coming together and we are, um, live together, some in also in this area, like Ricardo or Luciano, uh, Dixie. We are really, really close friends since years. And in this time that we uh, opened the Robert Johnson, we did completely opposite to Frankfurt. We don't play techno, we play deep house the whole time. And it was at the river, It's uh, you have a huge terrace and you can see in the morning the sun coming up. And this was for me, the sound system, the sound, the sound system was good. We had wooden floor to dance. Like, and so for me it was uh, really important that uh, everything was well done. And it was like a living room for me. And um, that's it. And everybody was in, in the first year, in the first two years, really wow, you're doing this. But it works. It works by all the people that works there. It was really close friends, really familiar family. We have the door breaker, there's no bouncers, there are girls always. And we uh, always was uh, working and work today a lot. 80% of all the people that work in Robert Johnson are girls. I don't know why. I think they have more power than should be the man. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> and uh, they have, uh, and, yeah, this, and it came more and more. In the beginning, it was also not so full and we have a lot of long distance to work and every Friday and every Sunday was different mm -hmm. but in, I think in one year, one and a half year it became really some small famous you know, <coughs> go, going up, going up, going up yeah How was it in the beginning if you're talking about the lineups it, it was it like the main um, like target to make the party crowded and to bring like Big no. name because club is no, always no, 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 no. 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 The funny thing is we don't book uh, people with names. We, we book people by music. Yeah. And by friendship. And that's it. Yeah, but of course. And if you're still today we do the same. It was uh, a different time. Um, I think it was a time before the internet was getting uh, bigger and has a stronger influence on partying and all this stuff. It was more like uh, you didn't accept like uh, uh, how do you say that huge parties there with huge lineups because all the huge lineup artists was were small at this time like uh, Zip or Ricardo or Luciano. I remember Luciano playing at uh, Robert Johnson and it wasn't crowded, you know, and he was playing his the first uh, minimal whatever a thing you know and uh, the, the Robert Johnson opened and then the whole culture was developing into a super hyper uh, commercial thing what's mm. now what you, what you can see with the internet and people getting big bigger and bigger like Ricardo one of the world's famous DJs back then he wasn't mm. Yeah, thank you. So, of course, I did also this Playhouse label that also they have a, a huge fan base. I mean, this is also maybe some point that Robert Johnson also grew up with this uh, Playhouse thing. So, I was Playhouse mm -hmm. and um, I did all everything, all the direct music direction, and um, also this helps, of course, to develop and to, uh, to uh, make the, the building really well for Rogers. We love Playhouse from 90s. Yeah, yeah, from 90s. So I think it's it's really important to, if you make something in one sphere yeah, of this business, to have some another like branch of development which can communicate people and put them together. This, yeah. this one is very, very smart in my opinion. Um, okay, and this one is, I think, question for both of you. Robert Johnson is a small club and I'm pretty sure that these spaces physically do not allow all the people to get in if they want and it doesn't matter about the lineup or something. And what is your door policy to, for such a small but well-known club? Do you let everybody in or do you have some specific system of uh, There's a hard door selection. policy? There's yeah. a hard selection, but it's done by girls. 
Yeah, my girl. And it's totally different if you put a man there or a girl. Uh, I don't, I, sorry man, but girls make it better. <laughs> and they have, and, and always they're not fighting, you know, they're, they're, they're always is, uh, girls make better politics on the door than the, all the sponsors. They're like, they're, this was the first day we start, I say, okay, all the girls on the door, they, they can be, make better politics and I don't want them to have a hustle or, or you know, fighting on the door. <laughs> and, 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 we, you know, and of course we don't have sides like on the door. And since early, two, three really hard fights, but this shit happens. But okay, if you, if you like... I guess it's a liberal door policy, yeah. you can go... How you like, you can, you could go there, bar f food, if mm. you're okay if you're with that. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, okay? I guess you have to be uh, friendly, mm -hmm. uh, if you're too drunken or full of drugs, you won't get in. So that's the main thing, and if you look aggressive. So, it's all about uh, the girls that uh, stay at the door, they always think about how will this guy or girl fit into this uh, scene there mm -hmm. is it a nice uh, scene when this guy or girl will uh, will be added mm -hmm. yeah. I guess that's the main thing about the atmosphere but this always happens like when you have like RPR on the turntables or like Ricardo is Casey and there's probably around thousand people who want to get in but there is just 400 who let in, but I'm pretty sure maybe a big part of them they are smiling and not looking aggressive, you know? <laughs> yeah, sure. So hard. I mean, the, uh, the club has a capacity. So. Well, who's the first? It means you are first. And yeah. Sorry, we are close, like at 2 a.m. That's it. Yeah. And when people ask us via email, I'm coming from St. Peter's, yeah, yeah, yeah. can I go, can I have guest list, whatever? We don't do the guest list, but oh. we tell them, um, you're very welcome. Please be there at 12 when the door is yeah. opening and then I guess it won't be a problem to get in. What about, because here in St. Petersburg and mainly in Russia, we have a... We have, don't, uh, we have a guest free, list. Free, you know, for free, you know. Like you, you bring, you make in a party and you have a, like you expect maybe 400 people to get, to come. And then maybe 100 people, then they would want to make it for free, otherwise they won't show up. Mm -hmm. So you have the same. Uh, no. No. No, it, yes. uh, Frankfurt always, always had like a door policy with the admission. So admission. wherever you go, you uh, pay entry. There is a scene like uh, friends that are always on the list, mm -hmm. like uh, because they're doing the a shop or a magazine or yeah are into the scene, then, then they are always on the list. At Robert Johnson, we have a, a system for that. It's called Green Card, mm -hmm. and uh, we give it to our friends, and they um, get in the club always. So the close friends get a green card, and they're supposed to get in always. And you also uh, giving a free drinks, right? For if you pay on the entrance, you uh, for example, if I pay like 15 euros yeah. admission, I'll get my free drink, right? Oh, no. No. no, I just because <laughs> like when I when I was getting ready for this lecture, I read your interview on resident advice, and that was a picture of a like yellow lemons with a you know ah, or yeah, something or schnapps. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, but yeah, but, but the drink tickets for the DJ. Drink. Ah, it's for the DJ and friends and friends, <laughs> of course. And people that uh, work or residents, they can buy like drink tickets very, very cheap, mm -hmm. and they can get drunk ah, for cheap. Very fast. <laughs> okay. So Oliver, now I would love to ask you a question: How you became a part of Robert Johnson family and start to create curated music program? Uh, I was uh, DJing, and uh, then. I was DJing with some uh, friends in Frankfurt and we did like parties in uh, underground clubs, not playing any techno or mm. house, we played everything from soul, funk, breakdance stuff, electro, 
and uh, then somebody, I'm not sure who it was, uh, was inviting us to play the Robert Johnson in 2005, and then uh, we started to be there every three, two, one month.